done. Smooth as satin drawers worn by Jamal Silk Will. Tripping off this dynasty that I'm about to build from scratch with a scratch label, scratch pin, mic and cable. Get you open like a jar of jelly, Jekyll's able. I've been watching you do your thing. In this hip hop federation, I soon be down like king. Softball when I'm boxing, use a bottle when I'm fighting. I practice with my knife and all I wore and then I'm biting you. Don't you see I'm definitely deadly, damn it, dummy, dummy. Wrap you out your string and have you calling daddy. Guys, mommy. Slap that bitch ass back to bubble, kick a headache out your tummy. No, this is of course going to be a sample shop episode sponsored by decan shop this is the first first uh episode and a brand new uh haul of samples from decan shop so much uh, thanks to adriana over at decanshop.com for sending me these there's so much good stuff over there right now indie you know um niche designer vintage original formulations everything you could imagine is there uh and the prices are just out of this world and with my coupon code max 12 you're going to save 12 percent of your entire order so you really cannot do better and you're just going to see some of the amazing stuff in these next i believe we have five videos yeah to do uh, a fragrance is offered at decantshop.com please use that coupon code max 12. we're going to set this batch off of scents with a fragrance called opus one from amouage now we have checked out a bunch of these opus fragrances in the series and I'm yet to find one that I want to own. And believe me, I'd like to find one from the Opus collection. I own four from Amouage. In order of favorites, I own um, Jubilation 25, Interlude Man, Reflection Man, and CL Man. The only two that I'm really fiending for are Beloved, which I love, and Sunshine Man, which is new and brilliant. At some point, I'll probably also pick up Epic and Memoir. Those prices are down now, and those are really nice scents. But for me, Sunshine and Beloved are just on another tier. Um, this was the initial offering from the uh, Opus line, and Danielle Morrell did this one. Not a lot of work from this perfumer, minus a couple of other Ama Wash scents. It was a 2010 release, and you're going to get Biggerade, Plum, and Cardamom at the top. Rose, Jasmine, Lang Lang, Tuberose, Lily of the Valley make up the middle. And you're going to get Papyrus, Cedar, Gaiac, Incense, Tonka, Sandalwood, and Vetiver in the base. Guys, you can find a 50 ml of this for as little as $110 online. So for Amouage, that's just a good price. As far as what I think of this one, it's a snoozer for me. You know, it's a good fragrance. It's got some fruit at the top, some nice florals in the middle, and a... And a a resinous base but when i think about my wash i think of silver frankincense and i think that that's when they're at their strongest when they're doing incense spicy fragrances sometimes there are departures cl man is a departure sunshine man is a departure but this feels like a departure in a totally different direction this feels like you know something that it just isn't in my wheelhouse i, I don't get this one um, I think the Opus line evolved um, after this one, and, and, and at least they took it to a, a more uh, extreme place. This just feels like a very safe, citrusy, spicy fragrance that, uh, I mean, the major notes for me, you know, probably some cardamom, some rose, some sandalwood. It's just really disappointing. I don't like this one. Um, I, I wouldn't recommend it. It's probably my least one of my least favorite Amo Wash fragrances I've smelled so far. And it's not because it's a bad smelling fragrance, but it's because there's nothing special about this fragrance for me. The next one we're gonna look at, excuse me, is from the house of By Killian, and this one is called Bamboo Harmony. This, of course, the latest niche house to be scooped up by Estee Lauder and added to Frederick Mal and Le Labo. I have mixed feelings about By Killian, and I literally enjoy the two fragrances that I own, Intoxicated and Back to Black, but really the only other one that I'm interested in is Apple Brandy. You know, there are definitely more that I need to check out. This one was a 2012 release. Uh, Khalees Becker did this one. We've got Neroli, Bitter Orange, Bergamot at the top, Tea, Mimosa, Spice, Bamboo in the middle, Oak Moss, Holly, and Fig Leaf in the base. And this is okay you know this is a very clean fragrance to me this is a departure from most of what i smelled from by killian most by killian fragrances are um 
for me, are at least out there. They sort of have a romantic romanticism to them. Um, you know, whether it be Straight to Heaven, Intoxicated, Back to Black, Love, um, you know, the one that's meant to smell like absinthe, I forget the name of it, um, right now, those are, um, you know, maybe Straight to Heaven or, you know, those are all very emotional and very sort of, sort of assertive fragrances and this is very passive it's very clean the neroli here and the tea is what shines now maybe people like that you know but this does have by killian pricing and if you're going to get the the case that comes with this you know you're in that high 200 dollars price range mm, i i don't see that i don't see a travel spray of this being worthy it's to me, if you're looking for something tea and clean, I could think of you spending your much your money much better uh, in the Bulgari uh, Ote uh, or, or the tea uh, range. You know, they have a green one, a blue one, a white one, a red one, and those are very high quality. Jean-Claude Elena did the green one. I don't see why you would spend your money on this one personally. Next up, guys, we're going to go to the Creed Aqua Originale line and look at Asian green tea. Now I've only looked at one other from this collection, Vetiver Geranium. I am in love with Vetiver Geranium. Uh, I probably will purchase a bottle soon, but I've just been saying that for a long time. I've just been on a bit of a freeze lately because I have, I think 550 bottles, and now I have to really love something or get a stupid deal on it to purchase it. You know, I'm still buying a bottle or two a month. I've smelled everything in, um, in this lineup, but nothing really blew me away on first sniff. The only one we've looked at on the show has been Better Geranium, as I said. Um, and again, coming back, that one floored me. We'll get to the rest at some point. Green Tea was done in 2014 and features needs of notes of bergamot, mandarin orange, lemon, and neroli at the top. Violet, green tea, heliotrope. Rose and black currant in the middle, sandalwood, musk, and amber in the base. You can grab this one for around $180 online, so decent deal there. Um, this is the this one really smells like tea to me. You know, the the the, the Killian, which had a tea note in it, does not. This does. This reminds me a lot, and I hate to go back to it, of the Jean Claude Elena Bulgari. Um, their tea fragrance that uh, that they did it's got that green tea note here hardcore i mean it's hardcore you've got a little bit of citrus a little bit of violet violet a little bit of like an almond d <clears throat> uh characteristic to this which i would imagine comes from the heliotrope there's some florals in here not bad but again i would just get something from by from um bulgari if you're looking for a tea fragrance and if you're for a clean tea fragrance if you're looking for a gourmand you know you guys are gonna, i'm going to tell you to go to la artisan and check out tea for two um but if you're looking for that clean sort of neutral tea fragrance well i wouldn't spend 200 dollars to get it i'd go look at bulgari guys we're going to finish up with one this week from the house of eccentric molecules this one is called eccentric 03. I own Eccentric 01. We've looked at Eccentric 02 on sample shopping. You can get 30 ml of these for like 60 bucks. So great deals on these if you're interested. Giza Shoen did this one in 2010. Notes are ginger root, green peppercorn, Mexican lime at the top. Heart, you're going to get Aris, Gypsum Jasmine, and soft tea notes. So 3T fragrances in this, uh, in this video. And in the base, vetiver, sandalwood, cedar, leather, and musk. So this one, this is a very nice fragrance. I really enjoy this one. Um, I get ginger. I get a little bit of pepper and lime. It's, it almost has like a, um, it, it, it almost smells like food in a way. Um, but very clean, vegetal. And get the orris in this one, the peppercorn, the ginger. It's it's really, really well done. I would imagine this would make you smell fresh, clean, sophisticated, um, green. It's got a greenness to it. it it's well done. This is a well done fragrance. Um, it, all of these eccentric molecules are. They're never going to blow anyone out of the water. You're not going to wear this and people are going to go, 
oh my God, he's smelling that guy. But I think people are going to think you smell clean and think you smell very refined. Uh, and, and for me, this is a, a really good fragrance. And sure, it's, this one will go on my list. Uh, to, to purchase at some point because I think all these eccentric molecules are just really well constructed uh, perfumes. They might not, you know, as I said, be first in show, but I think they're all really well done at their price point. I think they're they're great value. So guys, if I'm ranking these, yeah, easily eccentric molecule one. Um, I think I'd have to go Creed two at the at the price point. It's a it's a nice tea fragrance. Um, I think I'd go Killian at three and then Amouage at four. But the only one to me bottle worthy at all is, is the eccentric molecules. So guys, next week we'll take a look at four more. We'll start out with the house of um, Armani. We'll go to the Privé line. Then we'll look at two from the house of James Healy and we'll finish out with one from the house of Montal. Guys, I hope you enjoyed these videos. I want to thank you all so much for watching. We'll of course be back next week with... Um, Another sample shopping in this weekend with a review. You know what it is. My name is Maximilian. I must know. I'll see you guys next week. DecanShop.com. Coupon code MAX12. It's the way you're going to get the uh, the best, best possible value. Real eyes. The ones that can relate to what I'm saying. The lyrics. No bullshit. No playing. Some of these hardcore niggas is straight gay. Slapping women because they get it up. The anus every